U-Frame Pawl Replacement To replace the U-Frame Pawl on a lug all come along ratchet winch hoist, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, a 1 8 inch punch, and a hammer. You'll also need the U-Frame Pawl Replacement Kit for your winch hoist model. First, remove the hoist handle. If your lug all winch hoist has an external reversing lever, use the hammer and 1 8 inch punch to remove the roll pin from the external lever and remove the lever from the U-frame pawl shaft. Use the hammer and 1 8 inch punch to remove the roll pin from the spring support roll. Rotate the U-frame pawl shaft so that both ends of the C-clip are facing upward. Use the needle nose pliers to remove the C-clip from the U-frame pawl shaft. Remove the U-frame pawl shaft and the other components from the U-frame. Discard the used C-clip, roll pins, U-frame pawl, spring support roll, flat washer, and U-frame pawl shaft. Save the U-frame spring and reverse lever. The U-Frame Pawl Replacement Kit includes a new U-Frame Pawl Shaft, U-Frame Pawl, Spring Actuator, Spring Support Roll, and Roll Pins. Partially insert the new U-Frame Pawl Shaft into the U-Frame and slide the new Spring Roll, tapered in first, the new U-Frame Pawl, and the new Spring Actuator onto the shaft. Slide the U-Frame Pawl Shaft completely into the U-Frame. Hold the new spring roll and U-frame pawl to the right and rotate the U-frame up. Insert the U-frame spring into the U-frame and slide it into the legs on the U-frame pawl, using the punch as an aid. Rotate the U-frame back. With the U-frame spring in place, the spring actuator slot can slide onto the U-frame spring. Align the 1 8 inch through hole in the spring actuator with the 1 8 inch through hole in the U-frame pawl shaft and insert a new roll pin. Using the hammer and 1 8 inch punch, hammer the roll pin into the spring actuator and U-frame pawl shaft. Ensure that the roll pin is flush with the surface of the spring actuator. Slide the reversing lever onto the U-frame pawl. If the external reversing lever is a 587 hot stick lever, the W587 must be facing outward when installed. Align the 1 8 inch through hole in the external reversing lever with the 1 8 inch through hole in the U-frame pawl shaft and insert a new roll pin. Hammer the roll pin flush into the external reversing lever and U-frame pawl shaft. Ensure that the roll pin is flush with the surface of the reversing lever.